Hello everyone, it's Cash here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make damage sounds in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. First things first, create a local script in starter character scripts. And we're going to go ahead and name this damage sounds. Then in that script, create a couple variables. So the first one's going to be a player variable that sets the variable to game.players.localPlayer. Then make a character variable. You can do just car. And we're just going to do player.character. And what this does is we don't have to do find first child or wait for child or anything like that uh, because it's in starter character scripts, so it loads with the character. This script is what I'm talking about. And then we need a humanoid variable. So set that to character dot humanoid. And then create another variable. And this will be called old health. So this is going to be the original health that the humanoid starts with. So humanoid health is or old health is equal to humanoid dot health. Then we're going to need a variable for a sound that we want to play whenever uh, the hurt sound or whenever you get hurt. So go to toolbox, look up hurt or damage or whatever you want. And I think I like this one right here. So I'm going to put that in this and we're going to call it damage sound. Close out of that. And this sound plays right as it starts, so that's good. Now, something very good that you're gonna have to do is just check play on remove. This will keep a bunch of glitches from happening with your sound. Now, I'll tell you why later, but just check it for now. Then, go to damage sounds and create a variable called sound, and then equals to character wait for child, since it doesn't load in with the actual character. And we're going to uh, call this wait for child damage sound. So whatever you put the name is that as your sound. All right. Then what we're going to do is create a function. So do humanoid dot health change. So whenever the humanoid changes their health or whenever you take damage or get health or whatever, then connect function. Then put health in this so this will be the new health that or like your current health that you have all right and then press enter so you complete the function and then what we're going to do is if old health is greater than health so if your original health is greater than your current health so if you took damage pretty much then we're going to play the sound but we're not just going to play this sound because if we do this and you take damage a bunch of times really quickly, it's just going to be like this and just loop, loop really, really fast and you won't even hear the damage. So it's like, um, like that pretty much. Okay. So we're not going to do this. We're actually going to just do one thing before that. We're going to do old health is equal to health. So if you take damage, it sets your old health to your current health. So if you gain health, then it means like you don't just take damage. Um, now, here's something that we could do. Uh, now, instead of just if it's slower, because this could cause some things where like if you gain a bunch of health, then you, know, you take damage. And then it doesn't even play a sound because... You never say your old health again so we're just gonna put this at the very bottom here old health is equal to health okay then up here what we're gonna do is we're going to do local new sound equal to sound clone so we're gonna clone it now remember when I said uh, check this which says play on remove basically this means whenever it gets destroyed or deleted it plays the sound so if I went uh, here if I just did like this where as you can see it played it uh, that's all it means pretty much then down here do new sound dot parent 
is equal to character and then new sound destroy so it deletes it and now we're all done with the entire script alright so after that we're just going to go ahead and create a part in workspace now this is just to test the script out so do this where you do script.parent.touch connect function hit if hit.parent find for child humanoid then hit.parent.humanoid take damage 10 so take damage if uh, you you have a humanoid so it's not just like a part touching it all right so now if we test this as you can see we're getting hit and it works so the reason it's going so fast is because I didn't put a debounce or anything like that so this doesn't just um, like boom boom and as you can see it works and since we put um, this right here it doesn't matter if you gain health it's still if you take damage no matter what then it makes your health go down and it plays the sound or it doesn't make your health go down it just plays the sound um, now if you want everybody to hear it you can literally just put all this into a server script but make sure that you change this player variable so it's not just game.players.localplayer it's uh, you actually have to do it well if it's going to be a script this loads in with the character so we can just do script dot parent dot or and then actually it's like this script dot parent is the character and then you have to put this below it and it's going to be game dot players get player from character character and you would just do that and now everybody can hear it. Now this works both ways, but for simplicity's sake, if you just want you to hear it, which most people do, then I'm just going to do it like this. Redo this. Yep, there we go. Uh, now if you want to have the script, I'm going to copy this. And also, I'm going to save these to Roblox as damage sound. And you guys can download this. All right. Uh, also, if you guys have been wondering why I haven't been posting Roblox tutorials lately, main reason is because I had this issue where when I moved my mouse just a little bit, it would like teleport my whole mouse across the screen. But with the last video I posted, uh, that's how I fixed it. So if you guys have the same problem, I posted a video how to fix it. Uh, and I'll be posting a lot more tutorials, so leave a comment what you wanna see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.